Hello Boozers and welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. Well, you know, there's things that always interest me when it comes to beers and there's things that always stand out. And I've been a little cautious lately because, well, not being able to afford things has kind of tightened my budget a little bit. But seeing this and knowing that it's kind of something that's brand new to the market and I don't know what's, if it's ever been done before, kind of got my interest a lot. Not just a little, but a lot. Now I love my beers that are like the Belgian triples and quads and everything else like that. But when you introduce a Belgian quad with chocolate and cherry and then nitro it, yeah, you've got my interest a lot. You've got my interest a hell of a lot. So that being said, from Petrus, uh, Brewing Company, we have the Cherry Nitro Chocolate Quad Belgian Ale coming in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. Not kidding. Not kidding at all. So this is a beer out of Middleton, Massachusetts, USA. Or is imported by but it's actually a beer out of Belgium. So it's an actual, actual Belgian beer. Uh, expiry is the 17th of December, 2020. Contains barley, malts, and doesn't really have anything else for ingredients. Activate nitro, turn bottle upside down and pour hard into the middle of the glass. All right then, let's do this. And there's something so satisfying about nitro beers as you watch it cascade up like that. I don't know, I can watch that forever. How about you guys? All right, what we have here is a dark beer. It's not exactly black. You can actually see it's translucent. You can see through it. Beautiful tan head on there from the nitro. Looking absolutely amazing. I do like the looks of this. The smell. Oh, you do have that sort of, it's tough to explain. I, I'm, I, it's one of those ones where you know it's a Belgian beer. It really is. And then you have like a touch of cherry, touch of sweetness on there, and a little hint of a chocolate. It smells damn good. Nitro, a nitro quad, who would have thunk it? All right, cheers. Mm. Holy crap. So it's light, like a nitro beer should be, and it's got the beautiful notes of cherry, the chocolate's beautifully in there. And then you have that wonderful flavor from the quad. The nice Belgian sort of yeasty taste of the quad, like almost a Trappist style beer, but not quite. Wow. Just wow. And coming in at what was it, 8.5%? You don't get that. You, you don't get the alcohol. Like it's non-existent. That is a very original and very beautiful beer. That is something that I really, really, really like. I do like that. And this came in at like $23 a four pack. So it wasn't cheap. It really wasn't cheap, but it's a European beer for one. It's 8.5% for two. It's a nitro for three and it is worth it. This is something I find would be worth it. Unlike the other ones that was $7 a can for a Pilsner, this is what? Let's call it $24. So $6 a bottle, a small bottle. This is worth it. This has got uniqueness, it's got flavor, 
and it actually has a lot of style and it's beautiful. So this is worth everything in there. I'm impressed. Yeah, that's delicious. It does kind of have the cherry medicinal taste to it, but that fades really quickly, really does. Well, folks, have you had this before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think of it? Have you ever had a nitro quad or treble before? This is the first one I can officially say that I have had that is a nitro. And if I remember correctly, seeing on my, my untapped, they were saying that this is the first nitro ever for a quad. I'll have to look into that. And I'm sure that if anyone knows differently, they will correct me if I am incorrect on that. So please feel free to. Till next time, I am PK saying cheers, stay frosty, have yourselves a wonderful night, and thanks again for joining.